The TSA is now defending itself against claims that agents mistreated a wheelchair-bound San Diego Marine at a security checkpoint in Phoenix. It's a developing story that 10 News has been following, and 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty has the newly released airport surveillance video that the TSA says proves their point. Dan. Yeah, to show, you just uh, saw a bit of it. The Marine, he's from San Diego, was with a group of wounded warriors, and they say the TSA made him remove his prosthetic legs, then put them back on and stand up against his will, something the TSA says is a lie. Here's the grainy TSA video showing a 22 year old San Diego Marine double amputee struggling to stand at the end of a nearly 10 minute pat down. A retired Marine escorting the group of wounded warriors to spring training baseball in Phoenix sent out these pictures and described the experience over a phone call. He cannot stand up by himself. And I try to explain that, and they don't want to hear it. And then I said, man, I'm sorry that has to happen to you. And he just goes, you know what? Just get me the F out of here. I watched the video, and at no time did any of our officers uh, make this individual feel humiliated. Jeff Perez with the TSA released the video. This is the Marine standing on prosthetic legs in a full body scanner. The Marines say the TSA would not allow him to go through in his wheelchair, something Perez denies. He was treated with respect at all times, and um, as you'll see, the video shows all that. The low quality video that was released shows just two different angles and has no audio. You can't see the moments before this shot when the Marines accused the TSA of making the wounded warrior stand against his will. The video shows a process that took eight minutes and 41 seconds. We can't make ex exceptions to anybody. Um, we have to follow policies and procedures, and that's how we do it here. And the TSA stressed that they have protocols in place for wounded warriors if you call ahead and give the agents notice. Otherwise, they have to go through the same security steps as everyone else. I'm Dan Haggerty, 10 News.